2,675 pounds, only used three or four times. Rockwood A214 coming in on trade here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is one that has a little folding bathroom for you. And one of the calling cards of this floor plan, and really the signature calling card of this floor plan, is right here, right when you walk in the door. This collapsible little bathroom here. Uh, it, you know, you don't have to use it, but there's not a lot of folding campers, and especially A-frames, that have the ability to provide this for you. So it all folds up and down. It's all very simple to use, although I'll say you probably pretty much want it left up or down. Because if you're having a late night Taco Tuesday emergency, it's going to be awful hard to set this up in a flash. Like most pop-ups with a bathroom, folks bought it likely thinking, you know, this is something that we'd really want, need, use, not comfortable without. And then found out they didn't really use it much because it sure doesn't look like it ever really got used. Which, hey, not bad for you guys. But you can just as easily leave that folded down if uh, you don't think you're going to use it. Or if you want it to feel a little bit more open, you could kind of use that as a little bit of countertop space there. Uh, that cloth bundle you're seeing is actually the original bedspread. Previous owners apparently used their own bedding. Now this is a dormer model. That is the name of this front flip-up section. That's the non-technical name for it. It's a flip-up camper. Um, and in case you're curious about like shower curtains and stuff, this is how it's done up here. There's a removable shower curtain ring. The curtain can attach to it. Again, curtain doesn't look like it was ever used. And again, most people with bathroom models don't tend to use them. Uh, the folks are swapping into a, uh, actually, you can just see it through the window there, a hard side rockwood right over there. Um, over here, giving us some counter space that this model can really benefit from, it has a folding sink and flip down stove with those tempered glass covers. And if we flip those open and take a look, you see that you know you've you've got pretty good sink space for small dishes, wash your hands, the little two burner stovetop uh, gets the job done pretty well. Also over here you can see some easy reach outlets, great for little kitchen appliances because obviously it's not a big kitchen. Or if you uh, you know have like phone charger type stuff next to the dinette over here, that uh, refrigerator is three way and it, that means 12 volt, 110 and propane. Now this is not an active compressor fridge, it's a passive absorption fridge. It's a different type of 12 volt from what you find in the bigger stuff nowadays. Um, basically, between 12 volt, 110, propane, you get cold, colder, coldest. Hopefully that helps you. All the soft goods, everything looks great. The table, you can uh, see has that floating leg right there if I get down a little bit. Um, kind of a, a little bit of a no knee knocker. Storage underneath that one, not so much underneath that one because this has like stuff under it. Like you can see your converter panel box right there. One of the cool things about A-frames and pop-ups in general though is the window coverage. They got windows all over the place and especially right there. I mean, it's huge. Additionally, because of the shape of this thing, it's it's so tall. Like I'm 6'3", stretching my arm up. I'm, I'm a foot short of the apex of this thing. Um, I also don't want to forget the fact that you have this uh, 12 volt XL vent fan over here. Now that is a 12 volt way to help keep the RV cool and get some airflow running. Whereas down here, you've got the Dometic Cool Cat, which is a bi-directional heat pump in point of technicality, but in English, it's either an electric heater or an air conditioner. Plus the RV has its own propane furnace. So you have two ways to heat, two ways to cool. So if you're in a park or off the grid, either way you're good to go. This was built with the optional, or at least the previous owners might've added, I'm not sure. Um, little hanging bonus wardrobe storage dresser cabinet right here. Um, it's not a massive chunk of storage, but when you're in something this size, every ounce of storage counts. Also, that is a 60 by 80 true residential queen bed. That's one of the cool things about the uh, high wall A-frames. They have 60 by 80 queens, whereas the smaller A-frames, like an A122S, has a 54 wide by 80 inch long bed. So this is a true queen. It's also a heated mattress. You might see that hand controller uh, sticking out at you over there. Over here, we've got ourselves a nice microwave, some extra plugs all over the place, easy reach appliance outlets. And then we've got our entertainment unit. And I love its position so that if you're outside, you wanna turn the music up, down, inside, or out, whatever you wanna do with it, it's all right there. Or you can just Bluetooth to it and keep your phone in your pocket and do it that way. It's crazy seeing a used 2020 like this, but hey, you know, there's two ways to look at something like that. You could either have a payment on something you don't want, or you could get a payment on something you do want. Either way, eh, you know, you're paying. The white skin uh, in the tinted windows are really going to help this thing keep cooler on the inside versus the previous brown skin generation. 
Now, uh, if we step up here, you see all kinds of different baggage doors. We're going to take a peek inside each of those. Like, for instance, right here, what you're going to see is a uh, very cool kind of um, pull-out storage trough, in a sense, and it's removable. Not to mention you've got uh, the storage in the trunk up top here. So it's a cool bi-level storage compartment where you could have different things like, you know, uh, fishing poles not getting smashed by shifting cargo. I don't know how many batteries are in that box. The box is dual battery capable. Rockwood loves to give you that impression. They also love to not ship any batteries in the box so that a dealer has to deal with that. But hey, that, that is what it is. <laughs> Power tongue jack on the front here is an optional piece of equipment that we would also have added to one if we stocked it here at Halitz. And this is where you start to see this as a little bit, I, I call them mutants, these A-frames. It's as much of a pop-up camper as a fold-down travel trailer. And what I mean by that, we've got double propane tanks with auto changeover regulator, like a travel trailer, power tongue jack. Uh, that bathroom, you know, a true queen bed. Those are not pop-up common features, but here we are. So this is on uh, your two roof sections. So this big thing and that big thing, they are on a power lift. All the other wall segments will actually be manual, but you can see how there's like a pun uh, just a ton of different struts around here making this very simple and easy. We have ourselves an outside shower up there uh, kind of handy like uh, obviously you've got the bathroom shower area inside if you are so inclined but this is handy for like washing off your feet or hey maybe taking a little bit of a cowboy shower so to speak and not uh, using up that uh, uh, on board holding capacity as it were this does not have a gray tank from the sink by the way that's actually a sink outlet it's a straight drain pipe if you're going to use the sink you want to make sure you got one of those little blue honey wagon totes for it little mud dauber screens on the furnace exhaust are always good little signs as well it is part capable uh part cable cable Ooh, goodyear endurance tires that is a nice little touch those uh rockwood is now in their newer generation using goodyear endurance tires but at the time uh this was put together they were not so somebody upgraded the tires before they swapped it in good for you folks uh 87 mile an hour rated by the way you should not be towing that fast but hey i guess you're capable uh another little storage compartment that we have is down here in this little thing if we open that up you see there's another one of those little mini storage trough tote things that can be removed also, uh, when we're done looking at that, you might see that all of the lights, whether it's inside or outside, your tails, your markers, everything, they're all LED, which is a little bit brighter, safer, lasts longer, less power usage. Spare tire is on that, uh, or inside, an enclosed hard shell cover, which is going to help it, uh, you know, stay viable and weather protected for longer. Then right up here, <laughs> this is... This is like, again, travel trailer stuff on a folding camper. The Wi-Fi uh, Ranger Sky 4 system right here, basically acting as a signal uh, repeater access point router, effectively, helps you get easier access to local data sources. Then on, uh, you see those black bars on top and bottom, that huge rear skylight. But that's the ProRack mounting system. So if you got bikes, kayaks, cargo pods, there's a little bit of, well, a bunch of different things that you can actually apply to that. And there you have it, guys. I mean, there's a bunch of little things I could talk about. Like if, oh, actually, I, no, there's one more thing I really do want to talk about. If we x-ray vision ourselves through that little compartment right there, you'll see the uh, grill, the mount, and the little uh, removable table shelf thing that can attach to this little black bar right there with that little port being your propane hookup. There's a outside cooking situation going on here. Larger folding handle, dual aluminum, no slip and uh, steps like with the better tread, uh, a full breeze through window in the entry door. I mean, there's, it's it's the current generation. It's just a used price tag. That's pretty cool, and it's it's so new you can actually probably still qualify for same as new financing on it. Bonus, give us a call. We do it all. Halo RV. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun and happy Halo camping, everyone.